Chapter 11. Alright. The, the new Earl. Like... This is him. Uh, a face like that never changes. If anyone <laughs> can get you an audience with the Earl, it's Sheriff Eustace. I hope Percy Hamley will show more understanding with us than he did with the people of Wigley. Mm. I'm concerned what kind of man Percy Hamley must have become to kill people for mere poaching. Good day, Sheriff. I must talk to the Earl. It's a legal matter of utmost urgency. Get in line, monk. Are they all waiting to see him? What did you expect on court day, monk? It's court day? I fear this is going to take a while. I'll go look for Richard. Seeing that he's going into battle, he needs equipment. In the meantime, let's hope I can persuade the Earl to rethink this breach of our agreement. I'll talk to Meg about the sales of the Priory's wool as well. We Meg. will find a way to keep yes. the Cathedral's construction going, Philip, with or without the stone and timber they took from us. We must. All right, then. Richard asked for money, now where is he? And also Meg. Oh, look, birds. Nice. Find Meg uh, to get your money. All right. Ah, there she is. Repent, Customer. For the kingdom of heaven is upon Pro us. Prophet. Everyone seems to ignore him. Even the sheriff. Wonder why. As it is written in the book of Matthew. Yes. The end is upon us. But our Earl will lead us to salvation. Uh, is that so? A hard hand for hard times. It will all make sense. You will see. Kind of doubt that, buddy. But you know what? If you end up being right, good for you. Poor man. Apathetic. My God, he reminds me of father. Yeah. I'm keeping it. Open your eyes. Um, signs are all around us. Philip, he's tense, prefers life in the priory, not meeting girls, yeah. Yet his rotting. sense of duty compels him. <gasps> Has the Our queue not moved at all? We stand like pillars of salt, but mm. I'm sure the Earl will accept petitioners soon. I hope it's before so. the workers at Kingsbridge leave the construction site because I cannot pay them. What do you... What? Why are you holding a pig? All the way to see the Earl Court Day. They don't look very confident. If they hadn't replaced Father, I could have helped them. How many of you have fallen Gallows. Grace, they say Jack's father was hanged here. Really? Is that true? Was he really a thief? They say that Jack's father was a thief Shire and hanged in Shiring. Is that... Is that a piece of if of a piece of information we had before? Also, I haven't saved. There we go. And our is that a piece of information that we had, uh, or is that just like something our they Earl want us to know now? Leave Earl market has... beggar cloth stall. Other merchants offer cloth and felt. Sell for higher prices, easier to transport. We but fulling wool is ourselves. tough and expensive. Yeah. Hmm. Good quality. Nice. Leave market. Repent. Oh, wool stall. A beautiful site. Dry enough to sell at full price. Most of it already sold. Nice. Some customers are stubborn mules. A particularly unreasonable case. Looks like trouble. Great. My business partner Things in Shiring wouldn't be in this trade without her, yeah. We really wouldn't. I'm taking my business elsewhere. Are you now? What seems to be the trouble? She's raised the prices. So? Pay more. <laughs> is that so? This place is rotten. Thieves left and right. If we had ever agreed on what you say we did, we could just start giving wool away for free. Good to see you, Meg. I'm here to collect the money we've made so far. Um, excuse me. We're in the middle of something. What's the problem? Even you merchants have become thieves. What a rotten place this has become. He ordered the cartload of wool weeks ago. 
But now he refuses to pay the price we'd agreed upon. Sarcastic, di diplomatic. Let's think about why the prices are so high this year. So you can put more money into your pockets? Actually, the Earl has raised all fees. It costs more to pass the gate, to set up shop, to get a license, and to trade. I suppose. But the price is not as was agreed. <sighs> Did you use a tally to record the price? Well, uh, are you with the Sheriff? Just who are you, woman? I am the owner of this business. Oh. Here's mm -hmm. our Harfaliena. Now, would you kindly hand me your part of the tally? Okay. Um. A address problem? Oh. There are more notches on our part. Two pieces, two different prices. Granted, adding notches to our part would have been much easier. Aha! Uh -huh. You're admitting it. No. Mm, but the area with missing notches is thinner than the rest. You're right. It looks like something was carved off. Wh what? Are you what saying I'm a fraud? Yes, obviously. You can see where the where this Look, times fucking lines are hard were. For all of us. I won't report you to the sheriff. <laughs> this wool will not make enough cloth for all of my master's servants' clothes. Let alone all the shirts he wants for himself. Whoever pays servants and wants to wear many shirts should be able to pay the price for quality wool like this. Quality? Yes, but it is not high quality. Now that you mention it, I see it. I cannot pay that much money for bad wool like this. No, he's doubting the quality. <laughs> Fine. Then let me prove the quality of my wool. <coughs> Just you try. Dude, it's dry, it's fucking soft, it sticks together well. Piece of wool we're selling, good quality. How would I... Daylight robbery. We agreed on the price. How... How... how fleece on top. Fine me outrageous. Let's negotiate. What an interesting way... First you say one to keep thing, track. and then you say another. Is this how you treat all your customers? Go find some. Oh, go find someone to <laughs> praise wool. I'm wait. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. I know. I, I shouldn't have skipped that, but I know who. That's they have good the quality cloth, right? On. So why don't you it praise our wool? We agreed on. What Very an interesting us. way to keep track of like agreed upon money. No, I keep the wool. You're trying to rip me off. Okay then. Oh, I, I guess we can leave the market. Plus, they'll keep talking anyway, and I, that it's getting fucking annoying. So let's go. What's this blacksmith? Girl carrying meat? Flemish merchants, monks, bread vendor. Which one of these people would be able to fucking appraise? Whatever. Um. Yeah, what I'm trying to say, what an interesting way to keep track of like an of an agreement, of an agreed upon mo amount of money. You have like two sides, uh, two two parts of wood, and you carve in like lines. And what, what each person keeps having, I mean yes, it's very easy to, to mess with. Because, you know, that one guy carved away a couple of the lines to make it seem like the agreed upon price was lower than what it actually is. But still, interesting, interesting. Flemish merchants. A fleece fair means merchants. Flemish are the most res respected of the trade. If I could only negotiate with them, life would be easier. Well, let's go talk to them. Maybe... Maybe they can appraise our wool? Aren't you tired of Christian art? Their sad faces and dull colors are always giving me a foul mood. Just like this town. I agree. I'd prefer to see lush paintings of the fine things in life. Okay. Do you know anything about Excuse wool? Excuse me, would you care to give me your opinion on the quality of this wool? Of course. Please, show us. There you go. Oh. How wonderfully soft. And what thorough scouring. There isn't a hint of dirt or grease. Yeah, the exactly. The fiber is exceptionally fine. Yet it still holds the together. The color is even and light. Suitable for high quality garments. I'm glad you think so too. 
Would you be so kind as to confirm this to a customer of mine, should the need arise? Of course. Just send them our way. With all these taxes and the shrinking markets, I wasn't sure whether visiting Shiring would still be worth it. But for that quality of wool, I'll <laughs> say it is. Jesus, alright. Well, this is like a fucking masterpiece of wool. Like, like nobody's ever seen that quality of wool. This is like, this is what it's all about, you know, like, that, that is the best thing anybody's ever seen. It's like, that, that's the peak of wool quality. It doesn't get better than this, apparently. Monks. Excuse me, do you know if something happened in Shiring? I know we suffer because of the war, but the town never used to seem this grim and hopeless. No, oh, we wouldn't know. We are but pilgrims in search of God's miracles. Yeah, I remember. And yeah. a saint who will heal my foot. Uh. And my eyes. But yes, Shiring seems to hold no miracles these days. We heard the Earl is punishing his people for his own entertainment. I heard so too. Well, I mean, so far they are just rumors as far as I know, but I wouldn't put, put it past them. Can I interest you in some horse bread? Is that the only kind you have here? It's the only one that hasn't gone green yet, I think. If <laughs> you sell green bread, your customers will get sick and you'll get into trouble. What? Uh, are you with the sheriff? No, don't worry. <laughs> um, hold on, is there anything... Holy shit, there's a lot. There is a lot to look at. Okay. Well, let's talk to everybody first. Blacksmith. Uh, Would you be free for a sales discussion later today? Ah, Lady Aliena. For you, I will always find time. Hmm. I've heard business is slow. Not for me, it isn't. Plenty of knights need my services. His men have cleaned up well, I'd say. It suits me just fine that the Earl has swept the criminals off the streets. And those complaining about money and fees whenever my customers or my friends. Hmm. Okay. Girl carrying meat. What's the story there? What are you there? carrying there? Not for sale. Or eating. Okay. Don't steal. Okay. Go away. Okay. Oh, I, I didn't mean to upset you. Cool it. Oh. Okay. We'll buy you a loaf of horse bread. Don't worry. Eastgate leads to Winchester. Uh, many craftsmen who weave and dye wool. What's that? Distant stone structures. It's the bishop's castle. What little Valoran could build. Philip told me about his plans. Yeah. So that's as far as he got, huh? That's pretty far, honestly. The remains of Valoran's castle. <clears throat> I have no need to go there. Then let's not. Uh, let's see, we have the bishop's palace, and just the gate, and... I think... Oh, St. George. And street. That's the market, where does the street lead then? Jesus. Path, what the fuck? Tavern district, path. Jesus! There's a lot. Bishop's Palace, it's the Bishop's Palace. Jack would want to go closer to see it. Curiosity beats common sense sometimes, yeah? It sure does. Let's see what she has to say about that. The Bishop's Palace. Very interesting opinion there, Eliana. St. George, supposed to be a building of hope. Tom's Cathedral was meant to even surpass this. Let's go to the... Let's go to the tavern district. Oh, it's just... Okay, it's just a tavern. Quiet patrons, drunkard, singing patrons. Taverner. Pearls. Rarely see wine outside the church. Tavern must have a few rich patrons. Richard has developed a taste for it, too. The taverner makes money with each tank that he sells. Yeah, that's how taverns work. Hello, drunkard. I don't have time to deal with drunks. Okay. I have to give money to my knight. Okay. Singing patrons. No right thoughts enliven me while my stomach's hollow. <laughs> you hear? <laughs> Fill us up. But you haven't had a right thought all day. <laughs> Maybe Brew I'll maiden. be the next Earl, then. 
<laughs> oh, that's awful. Well, they're enjoying themselves. Tevner. How's business? Seems slow. Really? Well, at least you still have your regulars. Yeah. Even in bad times, people drink. Well, especially in bad the times. The Earl of Shiren right? has imposed new laws and taxes, and it makes times very bad for us. For a lot of people, yeah. And let's walk over here because Alonzo, Clement, yeah, I kind of guessed you were here. Richet. Stairs lead to guest rooms and other luxuries. I wonder how many guests can afford it's this. It's for guests only. Okay. Alonzo. So Alonzo and... To oh, Alonzo did to lead it, whatever. L, Sir L. Some compare his sword play to dance. Competent ally. Ally, ally, sorry, not ally. What the fuck, ally? A competent ally. Simon. Simon of Staple. Well, okay, cool. He and Richard were fellow squires. Okay, and Richard. There he, here he is, drinking and bragging. To lift his spirits before the battle. Let's go talk to people. Any new information on Maud's army, Sir Alonso? Brother of Gloucester will bring the Angevin. There are said to be a thousand men. But Stephen will bring more, and we'll be with him to lead the charge. Does Robert of Gloucester have skilled men fighting for him? Damned if we know. Victory and glory will be ours, one way or another. I... kinda think at least one of you is gonna die. Simon. I hear you will face Empress Maud's army, Sir Simmond. Sim Simmond. Sorry. We will do battle on the beautiful grounds of the illustrious Lincoln Castle. But honestly, if you wanted people to pronounce it Simmond, maybe don't uh, maybe have an actual eye don't there. Don't say like that. She'll think we're just going there for the landscape. Ah, but what a magnificent picture it makes. Oh, just Simmond. don't let yourself get distracted by the beauty, Sir Simmond. As you won't be there, I'm hopeful that I can focus on directing my blows at the enemy, my lady. <laughs> Cute. Alright, Richard. Today we ride to Lincoln. Drinks are on me! Are they now? With what, with what money are you planning to pay? Taverner! Another round for everyone! You're the best, Richard. It's Sir Richard. Nonsense. We're all brothers, right? It is Sir Richard. Okay, you're uh. a dick. And you're... here I thought you needed my money for new armor. Oh, I do. A knight is only as good as his equipment. You know... Have you seen Alonzo's sword? <laughs> With men-at-arms so well-equipped, how could I fight alongside King Stephen less well-equipped? And... Inferior armor may cost him his life. <laughs> Only the best for the best. Hmm. Here's an idea. How about instead of giving you a bunch of money, we just buy you the a sword and shield and whatever it is you want. That way, you can't waste money on dumb bullshit like this, on fucking buying rounds for everybody in the goddamn tavern, and you still get what you need. How about that? Hey, you should be more responsible with our money. I spend it on my reputation. What's more responsible than that? Uh, you are paying for other people's wine. Some of whom you don't even know. Knighthood is about more than fighting, Ali. It's a way of life. We fight together, we drink together, we die together. Mm. Right you are. To hell and back we go. To hell and back. Alonso, you make that sound like a bad thing. But you could spend our money a little more wisely. Do you want William Hamley to become Earl of Shiring or me? Oh, what kind of question is that? If we're lucky, then he will never return from the Holy Land. He right. already did. He's. God what? damn it. We ran into Robert of Gloucester's men. 
At first, I wasn't sure it was him. He wore the cloak of a crusader. No. Don't do it. Please, have mercy. My God, please. Shh. Don't. And then King Stephen called out his name. William Hamley, join me. We ride. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to upset you. You what? There this is... is not about you or me, Ali. Allowing the father of that monster to remain Earl would not only betray our father, it'd mean betraying everyone. William is a butcher, a filthy bastard without honor. Well, that Mind would actually your agree with You speak of the son of the Earl of Shire. So? I am the son of the Earl. Sir Richard, your father went against our king and lost his title and his land. You are not the heir to the title. Not as things are now. What did you just say? Oh, easy. You treacherous bastard! Calm down. Do you want to slaughter each other and help the enemy? <laughs> Accusing me of treason. You most loyal man at arms. Me or William, choose a goddamn side, Alonzo of Toledo. Come on, choose! Maybe I can get them to stop quarreling. Great. Ow. You disparage me for stating the truth. Alright, well listen. I've always been your most royal man at arms. I don't Why like not? any of you, so I'ma leave. The one with the biggest mouth, too. There we go. And we'll just go down this path. And we'll see, maybe I can figure out some way to stop them quarrel- what the fuck? Oh, I guess that just- Okay, where's the street lead? We can't go to the marketplace and get our money. I know that, but... Uh, give me a second, I want to explore a little more. Oh, what the fuck could it- <laughs> Okay. Is it- Are we, like, gonna have to run from somebody, or why are there these, like, pathways? Whatever, let's go to the market. Uh, alright. So, dearest customer, not the price we agreed on. there are a couple merchants over that way. First, you say one thing. Yes, Is shut up, a... shut up. There are Flemish merchants just a few streets away. They were very interested in my wool, and they would be delighted to confirm its quality to you. Anyone can let their friends lie for them. Bell, what? 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 Post public auction? Sell to Flemish merchants. Oh! Yeah, fuck it, we'll just sell to them then. It is sad, but it seems we can't find an agreement. Keep your money, good man, we'll sell to somebody else. <laughs> I was made an offer by the Flemish merchants. But I declined. I'm a merchant with principles, and we promised the wool to you. They'll be delighted to hear the good news. No, 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 wait. Maybe we can negotiate. My master would not want me to leave here with empty hands. Well, then stop being a dickhole. Push him for a diplomatic offer compromise. I I know you're not supposed to be, but I don't like him. <laughs> Competing with foreigners and nobility is no trifle. They're relentless and have deep pockets. Alienor. But if you prefer to take your chances. No, no, wait. I'm taking the wall, all right. I don't want to ruin you. My master can afford it. He just doesn't want <laughs> to. And he has a temper. God damn it. <sighs> you show no mercy, do you? Well, I would have. But... You decided to go down this road. <laughs> a pleasure doing business with you. Though I do feel like a bit of a dick, but again, you decided to go down this road. Hopefully enough to get us uh, all out of trouble. Hopefully. Next time he'll buy elsewhere, I'm afraid. A good Probably. merchant always strives for a deal that feels like a victory for both sides. Remember that. 
We don't need customers like him. And we have our money. Yes. And you have my thanks. W one more thing. Could you try to get Ovid's Amores for me <laughs> when you travel to Winchester? It's a book. Yes. I can ask Brother Theobald. His book collection is more comprehensive than the church would like. <laughs> <laughs> then he'll be the right one to ask. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very no much. No problem at all. Wait, so is this the money we need to collect, or does Meg still have a bit? Give money to Philip and Richard. Okay, so this is it. You well, can we talk to you? Your wool may be of best quality, but that doesn't make up for this market. It used to be a place of fair trading once. This is definitely the last year I come here. Um, maybe I can get them to stop quarreling. Let's let's buy a loaf of bread for the girl, for the delivery girl. She was called, right? Everyone seems to be afraid of Sheriff Eustace. I always heard he was a fat and lazy man. Oh. It's not him. It's the Earl. Killed a good friend for milling without permission yesterday. Buried him under the rubble of his mill. What? Huh. No, this money isn't meant to be spent. But, I have people to support. But... The... How much could a loaf of bread hurt us? Please, dude, look at her. She's standing in the rain with a fucking just a pile of meat in her hands. Where did you get this? I'm not a thief. A man in the tavern promised me a bread crust if I fetch this from the market for him. I'm just taking a little break. You look hungry. Are you saying I should keep it? Nuh-uh. Thieves get hanged. I'll be good. Oh, of course. Can we now? That you have established that she is hungry, can we now buy some bread? Shouldn't you make fresh bread? <laughs> if I could afford it. If you bring grain from outside the town, you must pay taxes nowadays. My friend's mill out there was a blessing. Sometimes he even let me use it for free, which was why they killed him. And oh. I can't afford using the Earl's mills here in town. What is the Earl thinking? Why is he hurting the business in town? I don't know, he's stupid. I don't know. Better don't start asking questions around here. Yeah, honestly, probably best not to ask questions. I'd like to buy bread. No, this money... Dude. Can you not? Do you have a family that supports you? My auntie sold flowers, but she couldn't afford to pay the taxes. Now I don't know where she is. I'm so hungry. Okay. Like, come on. Buy fucking bread. It no, this money isn't meant God to be spent. Damn it, I have Eliana. people to support. <laughs> One loaf of bread, dude. One loaf of bread. Fucking hell. Um. Anyway, Philip was in the marketplace, right? Oh, Philip and Richard. All right, fine. Let's um. Let's go to Richard Our first. I'm just trying to keep you grounded. Uh, How dare you imply that William and his fat and father lantern. have a right to my? All right, dude. Fucking. Do they often fight like that? Ah, oh, they're both very proud. Mm. Give them a few days, they'll get tired. They don't have that long. A few days, huh? Here. Now, now, can't you just agree to disagree? Our earnings, Richard. Please. Good. At least there's one person I can rely on. My sister. <sighs> can't believe this. Yeah, let's try to reconcile I'm them sorry, first. but I can't let you go into war arguing like this. I asked for your money, not for your advice. Hmm, that's a great way to get it. Percy Hamley's title is a fact, not an Are opinion. you shitting me? It right. is not fine. He does not deserve it. Fine. I will deal this... with your bullshit. Somehow, I will figure out a way to stop you, who are supposed to be knights, from fucking fighting like little children. But first, Philip. How many of... Please, Philip. Give him as much money as Richard. Give him less money than Richard. Give him more money than Richard. Well, I mean, exact amounts would kind of help me make this decision. 
because it kind of seems difficult for me to believe that an entire fucking monastery could would like that Richard for like a sword and shield would need as much money as the entirety of fucking Kingsbridge so I kind of feel like um, Philip should have more money than Richard simply because Richard doesn't need that much money and Richard uh, and and Philip does I don't know if that's true yeah. but fuck it take more take everything I'm astonished that you can still find trade in times like these. I can only repay you with my gratitude for now. And our priory's wool, of course. It should be enough to keep our workers around until I have solved our problems with Percy Hamley. But Tom said that without stone and timber, we will have to stop construction in a month. You must speak to the Earl. I still have to give Richard his money. Yep. But then I'll come and wait with you. From the looks of it, I'll be standing here for quite a while. Yeah, probably. As a matter of fact, I'm guessing until we advance in the game. There's still money left, but it's not mine to keep. Yeah. Oh, can we... Can we do this? Like one coin. Yeah. Nice. Poor man, apathetic, by God, you reminds me of the things to come. Um... Would you know of a way to fucking get two stupid men to stop arguing? I doubt that would help to stop their quarreling. Okay. Okay, well... May... Um, like, maybe... Maybe the meat? I don't know. The monks? I kinda don't... How would you settle a fight? If you're in trouble, run. Hmm. Oh, but they're usually friends. Running wouldn't help. Then let them play a game to decide who's right. <laughs> Good idea. Okay. Maybe a game will help stop their quarreling. Maybe. Let's try that then. Okay, a game. What did you just say? Oh no. Maybe, have you two thought about a game? I'm done talking to you. Do you have any games with you? Huh, very much here. Hmm? A game? <sighs> game? Why would I take a game into battle? Who the fuck knows? Take your weird. mind off things. I don't need to. Hmm. Yeah, Do kinda, you want to say something? I kind of doubt it. I kind of doubt it that that would... Do you have... A Board games have no place in the box. You're just afraid to break them. Uh, <sighs> okay, 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 okay. You don't have any games, I understand. Would you have any games, perhaps, dear uh, Tavener? Do you have any games for entertainment? Only what's needed to keep the customers here a little longer. I can offer a set of dice. Perfect. I'm not in the mood for gambling, Lady Aliena. It's not gambling. It's. A game. You're never in the mood for entertainment. Games of luck are a waste of time. But give me the dice. Fuck him. I'll force you. Give me Do the dice. Only I can off. Damn it. I fucking. Skip. Game. Skip. We've heard this. Can't we just forget about it? What's your secret to success? You know, running a tavern. People will give their last shirt for pleasant distractions. Especially when they have a lot they want to be distracted from. <laughs> Would you like to order? A couple dice, oh, please? Thank you, but I'm just here to see my brother and his men before the battle. <sighs> um, Would you like to order? Okay, 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 okay. Well, who would have a game? Who would... What Do the merchants have a game, perhaps? Like, with them, that I can buy or something? It's a good... I mean, it's worth a try, at least. Mm, no, that's not the kind of game the girl was talking about. What? Do, 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 do the monks, then? Do you have any games with you? We carry the French game of Fierge with us. Oh, could I borrow it? If you bring it back before nightfall, I see no harm in it. I, I will. Thank you. 
appeared a French uh, board game. Oh, it's that one. I forgot how to play it, but it's nice. Uh, Richard and I used to play it. Well, perfect then. That's actually that is literally the perfect game. Like a as good as it gets. All right, here. Take it and play. Stop being little bitches. Fucking come on. Now fight it out like real knights should. With a battle of wits. Playing a board game. Uh, I don't know. Jesus Christ. Just fucking play. You're scared I could win. Ho oh, ho. Let's begin. <laughs> now. Let's start with a careful opening. Oh, be careful. Good choice. The general who gives in to anger will send his troops to their deaths. Exactly right, Ali. First, I'll focus on defense. Let's see what Alonso's got. Okay. <laughs> Interesting moves. Ooh. Well played. A classic opening move. Well, well, well. Now's a good time to attack. Be quick or go slow. The attack window is open. Be quick. Oh, Strike quickly and fiercely. Sometimes victory lies in numbers, but often it lies in a single soldier at the right spot, right? Yes, and I play to win. And here I stride to victory. Richard sees this opportunity. He sees the window open. He strikes and... Uh. Oh. You reach the end of the board. What a crowning. What a crowning a indeed, ladies and gentlemen. You call this piece a king? In Spain, we call it a queen. She's quite powerful and has a mind of her own. All right, a queen then. Now I can sweep the entire board with her. Can you? Be wary. Be wary, dude. No, don't be hasty. The highest art of war is to break the enemy without a fight. Nonsense. I have to seize this advantage. Okay. I've got a queen on my side. Time to rampage. Yeah, I'm just saying, dude, Alonso's pretty calm about this, so he has like a probably like an ace of the sleep. sovereign has been claimed, the game is almost decided. It's the almost that worries me. <sighs> but I mean he does keep grumbling. I could fight to the last piece. But a good commander has foresight, and I can see this game is lost. I oh. meet defeat. Alright then. Ah, uh, you ended this before it even began. Even a scribe would struggle making this an epic of glory. Doesn't this need was to be about epic. strategy, not showmanship. Yeah. And it seems like Lady Aliena is an excellent strategic advisor. Cool. You work exceptionally well together. Thank you very much. <laughs> he never makes compliments like this. He's the tactician. I trust his instincts and experience to guide him. But you yourself are an exceptional diplomat and businesswoman, I hear. You compliment each other in the way you think. I guess you're right. If you are wise enough to trust these queen's instincts in these matters, my friend, you too will indeed be able to take back the Eldom. You think we can do it? So, can I rely on your loyalty? <laughs> you can. Well, that's cute. Of course, we're brothers in arms. <laughs> Good. You've an important battle ahead of you. I'll bring you the money. All right then. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, right, right, right. We have the. We need to bring that back. Anyway, here's the money. What, what little there's left of it. Here. You must be losing your touch if that's all you got. You're not the only one who needs my support. But what's more important than the oath we gave to Father? Kingsbridge. The people who took us yeah, in. Yeah, like the entirety of it. Well, if I die in battle, you'll know why. Well, don't say yes, that. because of your pride and stubbornness. Must you really fight? What is all this good for? For Father, Ali. I will save Shiring from Percy Hamley. But who is going to save you? With men like these, I'm afraid I'm already beyond saving. 
For victory! <laughs> For victory! For victory! I see. I wish you the best of luck. I'll be at the marketplace with Philip. And make more money, I hope. Mm. <laughs> okay, join Philip. Uh, yes. Very soon. We still need to give give back the board game. I do. <laughs> I, I don't really want to steal it from the monks. They were nice enough to give it to us, after all. But after that, okay. For some reason, we weren't allowed to buy a loaf of bread for the girl. But other than that, I think this went You've pretty okay. You've done me a great favor. We are glad to hear it. Thank you for returning it. We always pass the time on our travels trying to best each other. Hmm. Okay, marketplace it. Oh shit! 40 minutes! <laughs> um, the episode's long. I'm sorry, I didn't. Ah! Okay, whatever. It's fine. It's a little treat for you. You get 10 extra minutes on this episode or something. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. It's already long enough. Next time we'll join Philip, who has pulled up a sword. Uh, I'll see you all next time. Auf Wiedersehen.